Hello everyone, this is Father Christian for the series we are resurrecting called The Keys just for this January. We have a sermon series right now, as you know, called uh, A New Beginning. And we have four themes that we're following along. And the first one, as we heard last week, was Revelation. This week will be Illumination. Next week will be Sacrifice. And then finally will be Resurrection. They will be following the themes that are presented to us in our lectionary. Um, so last week we heard, we heard about the donuts um, and, and the whole story uh, with, with the revelation through that. Uh, this week, uh, we're going to be focusing on the first Samuel reading, the Old Testament. So first Samuel chapter three, verses one through 20. Now in it, you remember uh, that Samuel um, is sleeping in the temple right from there. I just want to bring that out that God is usually up to something through his readings, through the Bible. When someone is sleeping, usually means they're sleeping uh, to the spirit, it means they're, they're not totally aware and awakened to what God is up to. So Samuel is training under Eli in the temple and he is sleeping and he can't discern if it's God's voice that's talking to him. <clears throat> and it's not until Eli just says, listen, that's not me that's calling your name. Um, I, I think that's God. And so finally, the next time that God calls him and the third time, that holy number is when Eli finally turns to him and says, speak for your servant is listening. Um, so uh, uh, before you come to church this Sunday, I want you to think about how well do you hear the voice of God in your life? If you had to grade that on a scale of one to 10, where would you put that? Uh, one being, I can't hear him at all, or 10 being like, he just won't stop talking to me and I need to get away. Um, so so seriously, th think about how you do that. And then how, how would you start to encourage more of God to speak to you? So you could have the clarity to know, I really think this is how God is nudging me and moving me. I'm not saying you, we all need to be prophets and hear the voice of God and stand on the street corner saying, you know, get saved or get burned. What I mean is for us to really be in tune with the Spirit, to be receiving that great wisdom of God, so we can really be following His call in our lives and have the wisdom to make very informed decisions and choices that are that are grounded in Christ, grounded in compassion, grounded in love, grounded in wisdom, grounded in mercy, all the gifts of the Spirit. That's what I mean about hearing that voice, so that voice is really guiding, so it's less of us and more of Him. What can you do today that's going to allow you to encourage more of God to be working through you? Um, and part of that are, are those, those spiritual disciplines that Richard Foster talks about, some of them being fasting and prayer and worship and reading scripture, um, giving up things in our life so we can have more minimalism, so that creates more space for God to really speak wisely through us. And so we can also sense when God is speaking and say, uh, God is asking me to go this way. I would love to do this, but God is asking me to go that way. Okay, my friends, so that is the tease. We uh, see you this weekend, either Saturday night or Sunday, and we're going to go headfirst into this material and how does God illuminate us and illuminate our lives when we begin to listen. And what can we do to listen even more? Can't wait to see you. Bye-bye.